Hey everyone, and Bacon, this video is for you. Just want to go into a little bit of details here. We're going to do our continued ISO 8 series where we're talking about the teams and what actual ISO selections I've been making. So one thing we're going to talk about here is power armor. Now, you guys may have seen a video I made that said, stop what you're doing and don't make teams raiders. And you'll see that the wide variety and majority of this team is raider. So we're going to teach you a little bit about that, how to bypass some of the problems that could be potentially applied by this team and showcase the team in action, because this is a team that can still make use of crit. It's always been a very minimal investment team uh, and still is stunningly powerful on war offense. There's different versions of this team. We'll go into all that so you guys can get an idea of what we're talking about. So a couple of the staples of this team you want to remember is that Iron Man's giving the team a substantial amount of crit. From that passive, he's upgrading the critical chance for tech members and for additional allies uh, by uh, additional 10% uh, for tech and then another 10% for all allies. So they're going to crit all over the enemy. And so when we talk about what to expect, well, you guys know the video. We said deflect is stopping crits. So how do we bypass that? Well. I'm going to show you that in a very, very, very specific sequence of actions to hopefully help you understand what I mean. So when we go into, uh, we'll use Blitz, probably not the best scenario, but we can probably pull something up here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, target selection and, and how to use abilities here and, and uh, the difference when we're talking about uh, what to look for ISO. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys really quickly. We'll find a team that's relatively familiar, even a team like this. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and do so because of the crit, you're going to get a 10% more damage and that's overcoming a lot of the base health that's happening inside of the uh, equations here. That's some of what we're encountering when teams are less effective, the teams that were not really enhanced by, uh, by this are having, uh, problems overall. So we're going to go ahead and get in here. Uh, so we're going to talk about, about this. So that's going to get rid of one set of deflects now. Remember, I'm going to showcase what I recommend, a recommended set of actions. Now, you don't have to put the T4 in this ability. The idea behind this is you want to target your softest targets and make sure that you're uh, accounting for the ones that have deflex. So we just hit two targets, got rid of two deflex uh, if, they had, if they had a boost. Now we're going to get rid of one, two, and if it hits a third time, you get rid of all those deflex. And then, so this ability will get through so if it only hits twice without putting the t4 in it, it has a chance to only hit twice you get through those three deflects uh more importantly if you look over here uh that's those targets will have one or two this will get rid of two more so in the sequence of action then obviously so if you guys notify notice that she's uh has level one fortifier on them that's something that uh that i like a lot because if a team's going faster than them you guys are going to find that they're going to get a little bit more uh, survivability. So if they get that first impulse, taking level two fortifier, even level three, it's going to help them survive from, you know, two of the bigger, uh, factors in, in the win scenario for this being rescue and iron heart. We're going to speed them up. So, uh, it's important at this stage that you've taken out most of the deflex without that, there's a chance this can get blocked. And uh, like you saw from Captain America, Captain America blocked it. And so it wasn't applied whatsoever. So something to be aware of. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just the power of block. The crits won't happen. So um, right now, uh, you guys will see this. We're a little bit out of sync here. We're going to get the offense down on the target. And then you're going to power up. So the idea is trying to power up, power through all the offense downs, uh, and then just do the amazing amounts of damage here. So... when they get marked here he's got three effective marks and then we'll just finish him off so crit's gonna help you punch through him that's a team that's actually believe it or not a little bit tougher uh, ISOs have made that team a little bit better. So uh, you guys have asked me to go into details about what are some of the other flex members of this team. So another version of this team that we're seeing is featuring Ultron in place of Iron Man. Something to take in consideration is I, uh, actually one of the things about that that I like 
is especially with this combo, well, you've probably made and will not have to switch your uh, Ultron from a striker. So he'll take advantage of this because these are going to have the defense. They're, they're going to have the vulnerable uh, applied pretty quickly. And often you saw there's multiple stacks on the primary target. So something that can definitely work out for it. I do recommend probably if you're using this team to punch up more or using it against certain comps, uh, and you wind up at a sync on here, you definitely want to potentially put the T4 into her, into Ironheart's ult, something I don't currently have. They work for me and everything I need to counter on, on them. So uh, they're, they're a great team overall. So that's the overall ISOs on them. So uh, the next part of the member, uh, the team that actually is a, uh, a flex member is Vision. Now Vision, I typically like uh, as a skirmisher because you're using him to clear buffs. If you can use and mark additional targets, you can also potentially use him to clear additional buffs, help you get beyond behind targets. Uh, he could also be Raider on that team to help apply more buffs uh, because his target, he does attack more targets. So it's kind of a flex. If you're going to use him on power armor, I might recommend uh, a Raider or Skirmisher depending on what you're targeting. So if you're targeting a character that has uh, Taunt or uh, Death Proof that you're not going to, you don't think your Falcon's going to be able to overcome, that's exactly what you want to do is use that, that skirmisher because then he, every single time they're marked, which they do with Raider, anytime he attacks, he's simply gonna remove that. So take a look at him. I haven't really figured out where my vision is gonna go 100% uh, because I'm, I've actually built my Wave 1 Avengers up a little bit. And so the Wave 1 Avengers is gonna be a video coming soon to you guys showcasing the power and what they can actually overcome. I'm actually quite impressed with them on offense, but talking about vision, uh, if he winds up as my uh, wave one uh, support. It'll be a little bit different than what I choose for him, but you can go ahead and likely either choose Raider or Skirmisher, depending on what you're countering. So if you have to get through things like um, uh, the the buffs or, or taunts on uh, S6, because you're using power armor uh, with, with Ultron versus that team, something to consider. There's all different uh, method to the madness. And in fact, they're even enhanced more by some of the healers on uh, Doc Ock if you find them on defense. So uh, that's that's the recommendation for power armor. Uh, and then we'll just we'll just talk about one more iteration of that team to kind of give you guys a hint. There's actually another uh, fifth member of that team that's used quite frequently. The problem is you kind of have to build the character up. I haven't, but I'm going to show you the character and then talk about what exactly you're doing on, on the team and why it's such an important part of uh, theory crafting and why uh, you may want to bring him up. So, so Ultimus actually does something very unique on that team. He is actually somebody if you're gonna if you're really gonna try to take on the uh, uh, S6, this is a character you may want to consider as the fifth man. Uh, he is literally capable of destroying anybody with multiple buffs, and we all know that if he can get in there and target Doc Ock, then he is going to annihilate annihilate that. So, uh, you know him as a striker. With that is going to be a very, very, very powerful ability because you get the extra follow-up. Uh, you can use them as uh, a raider in that scenario if you want a little bit extra crit and crit damage because you will be getting 10% extra crit. Um, but that is something that you guys may want to do. Uh, he is a great character as a floater. Uh, he does help you do a lot more teams. So, uh, uh, so let's talk about what they can counter. So with ISOs, they can effectively counter... Uh, punch downs on M Rotters. They can punch across uh, reliably and sometimes up against Sinister Six. Uh, and that's usually featuring Ultimus to be able to annihilate uh, uh, Doc Ock. Uh, that's actually your goal is to get him uh, on his uh, uh, ult to, to kill Doc Ock. Then you've got um, uh, the, ever to the ever favorite. And the reason why they're built with the Fortifier is they're designed to counter. Uh, young Avengers and others in that regard. Uh, so anybody with buffs, uh, early buffs, they can definitely take out. So uh, another thing they can also beat, and you have to punch across nowadays with some of the burst damage that's coming out of this team, is the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, choosing your uh, ability block on targets and then choosing when to do your big burst damage is going to be key. As long as you can get them down and before Rocket starts doing his ults into your team. However, a lot of the randomness is being countered by the extra damage by you and the extra uh, uh, health and f barrier coming from the uh, fortifier. 
So that's it, guys. That's re really it. So let me know what you guys think as far as positioning goes. I typically keep my my two weakest links on the the wings, the outside. There is no de uh, there is no taunter by default. So that's a way to quickly protect them. And uh, sometimes it, you may get a little bit out of sync based on speed. Um, you know, something like Hawkeye can take them out of sync. So Avengers is something that that they can beat, but you're going to have to punch down on. So you saw how how they got out of uh, order. That's where the second turn of the uh, of the defense down would have played into that so so just want to go ahead and do that so guys thank you guys for all the likes and follows thank you for the support make sure you guys hit subscribe uh and uh we're making more videos the next series will be coming out we'll be featuring the wave one avengers till next time guys thanks for watching remember i do things so you don't have to that's science